welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Waldorf Inspired Roots where we share our Waldorf inspired homeschool journey and family adventures. Today I'll be taking you on a playroom tour. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and say hello down in the comments. So we live in a townhouse and so we have one big great room and this is the main play area of the room and it's actually part of our big great room. We've got our homeschool area over here. My 15 year old does most of his schoolwork at the table and then we do circle time at the table or on the rug depending on the day and I'll just kind of take you around and do a little tour we have my 15 year olds uh, morning basket is this one here and then this basket is the the circle time basket and then we've got some of our circle time learning uh, things that we do are up on the wall. We don't go through all of them every day, but we definitely rotate through, especially for the kids that I watch that will be going to public school. Those are the main things that they need to know. And then we've got our nature table, and then I rotate this out, and um, I paint new pictures periodically to put in the little frame and then the flowers there are real live flowers i like to keep live things on the nature table in addition to other things we find in nature we'll kind of start to you know collect them and and put them on the table here and then we, this is primarily our music and movement things and i'll kind of show you a little bit We've got instruments and a music box and a little, um, this one here is a little megaphone type thing by Hape. The kids really like to use that. And we've got a few Melissa and Doug things. We don't do a whole lot with Melissa and Doug, but we do like some of her things. And then down in this bin, we have some bongos. And then... We have a ukulele that was actually passed down to us. My husband's family are from Hawaii. And so ukuleles, I think everyone in the family pretty much has a ukulele. And then we've got our xylophone. And I think this xylophone has lasted a really long time. And it's by DeLuca. Um, I got it off Amazon and we really like it. And then up here, we've got our hand kites. Some of them I purchased and some of them I've made. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you're familiar. We have quite a, quite a few of them because we have kids that come that I watch that play with my two and a half year old. And then we have our bookshelf and our play silks. Now, I just recently found this to hold my play silks. I'm not sure if I'll keep it forever. I do like it, but I worry that the clothespins could snag the material. So, uh, and Sarah's silks, play silks in general, have a tendency to be a little fragile. So, and then any books that don't fit down in the bookshelf, I'll usually display a few up on the counter. And then we have a bunch of our Grimm stackers. The kids get those out every day. We love those. And then in this bin, we've got cars. Some of them are Toys for Smiles brand. We actually have quite a few of those. We've picked up some, I think this one we picked up in Seattle. And then over here, we've got our I believe these are called Tumi Ishi blocks. Now, I purchased these from an Etsy shop, and I can't remember which one. I believe she was from the Ukraine, but I did go ahead and use watercolor 
paint and I painted them um, all different colors and then I just used a matte top coat to make some of them colorful and some of them I left with the wood grain because I thought it was pretty the way it was. The next bin over are our Uncle Goose planet blocks and this is by Janod and it's a little um, rocket ship and this is actually my son's current favorite and it's actually all the pieces are magnetic and that's one of his favorite toys right now. The next bin over are peg dolls that we've made and I'll actually show you a few of those. Um, so we've got all different little guys. I've made some knights and these I got a pattern off of Etsy to make these. And then this one my son painted himself. My two and a half year old painted that and we just recently made those for the class. And then I've got some weather ones in here. And I can do some tutorials on how to make some of these guys too. And then I've got like the princess. Um, I believe I have a queen in here. So that's just some of those. The next bin down, we have some animals. Um, we have a lot of the Holtz tiger animals. I think all of our zoo animals are Holtz tiger. And then we've got Ostheimer woodland animals. We've got the bear and then the baby bear. And then I have a few animals that I purchased from an, from an Etsy shop. So that's our animals. And then we rotate our toys out. So I've got cupboards that have some other things. So we have dinosaurs we'll sometimes put in place of the animals, but we always have some kind of a, you know, animals or dinosaurs or figurines in there. And then these I got from Tree Imagination on Etsy. And I've actually ordered a few different sets. And then I also ordered more of the castle pieces. Um, but yeah, these are all cedar wood and they smell amazing. I love the smell of cedar. Um, and so we have lots of those blocks. The next bin over are Grimm's blocks. And I forget what this set was called, but I will link it below. Um, and they're beautiful, just different shapes and colors. And these are again by Grimm's. And then the next set over are bean bags. I actually had a friend of mine who made, I made a couple of the little guys, but most of these my friend made and just using old clothing and scrap fabric and they're bean bags. And so the kids love throwing these around and catching them and playing games with them. So we have those. And then moving into this section, we have our pretend play and we've got the Melissa and Doug cleaning set with the brooms and the mop and then off of Facebook I found this play kitchen and I absolutely love it um, and then I will actually show you down in the cupboard we've got wooden little plates and bowls and things that I found on Amazon. And so we have a bunch of those. And then we've got some spoons and the Ikea set of toy utensils and the dishes are from Ikea. And then in the food, we've got some that are, whoops. <laughs> we have some that are crocheted and they were crocheted for my son when he was little. And then we also have some of the um, wooden pieces that are Melissa and Doug. And I think that was from the food group. Little baskets. So, and then we also have some, we also have some of the Ikea food. And so all of our food is either wood or felt or crocheted. And then, Moving over here, this is the 
Trofast, I believe, um, bins and set from Ikea. And then we do have a lot of the Melissa and Doug dress up stuff and they come with these um, plastic toys. So we don't really have a lot of plastic here, but we do have these. I actually just recently ordered the Plan Toys Veterinarian and Doctor's Kits. And so we'll be replacing these and then I will um, send these along to someone else. We prefer wooden toys and I just think they're prettier and more eco-friendly so but we will definitely recycle these by passing them along to somebody else and then you know again more things that came with some of his dress up sets and then this bin is all of our hats and masks and a crown and a tail and then most of these are the Melissa and Doug um, pretend play we've got the doctor the fireman the police a pirate and then another pirate outfit. And then down here, we have some baby dolls. This, I believe, this one is Manhattan Toys. This one might be as well. I actually can't remember, but I will find it and link it below. And then this one I actually just got from a somebody on Facebook. And then in this bin here, we have our puppets and as you can see we need a new bin and more space my son doesn't watch a lot of um tv really at all but we do allow him to occasionally watch mickey mouse clubhouse he watches that over at his grandma's house uh when we go and visit and then you know occasionally here and he loves mickey and that's kind of the only cartoon that he really watches other than the occasional disney movie but um his grandmother got these and he absolutely adores these so do all the other kids i think it's because it's a familiar character that they're familiar with but um so we've got all the different mickey characters and then we've got this owl i believe this one was from ikea and we have some of the melissa and doug zoo animals and so there's some of those and then actually I'll just pull that out for a minute and then down here we just have some more some more of the animals and then I got these second hand so I don't know what brand these ones are but I have a couple little characters as well and I'm actually just gonna set that up for now and then we have a basket that my dog is currently in <laughs> hi gizmo um, but it has our stuffed animals and some of the blankets from the kids that I watch that they um, sleep with. And we have our nap mats back there. And then these cupboards down here, I can do a tour of those at some point. But these two cupboards down here are just toys that we rotate out. And then we also have, man, bury you, Gizmo. <laughs> we also have a toy box that has more toys that we rotate out as well and then this upper cupboard I will do a complete tour another time but this is all of our craft cupboard so we have so much stuff in there and then we have one other cupboard for craft things as well and then my father and I built this out of Ikea boxes And it's a farmer's market right now, but we can really turn it into anything. And then I believe I got this either from Bella Luna or the Wooden Wagon. I think they both have it, but I can't remember which one I specifically purchased it from. But as a little drone, we've got felt money in it. So yeah, that is our playroom area. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.